We have a Volkswagen Caddy with the check engine light on. Not that new, it's 1.9 diesel. What I'm gonna go after is fault codes first, see where we go from there and have a look. I have just looked in there and the first thing that I see is 05716 check DTC memory of instrument cluster. So there's some kind of fault codes stored with the cluster, not bothering me right now. Um, what I'm gonna go after is this the 0552 altitude sensor slash boost pressure sensor implausible correlation. P1592. So what we're seeing or it's saying here is that the correlation between the altitude sensor, the just the atmospheric pressure sensor, and the boost pressure sensor is incorrect. So we're gonna go in and have a look at live data and just see what we find, okay? Um do right, sorry. I'm going to into data. Sorry about the glare, I can see it myself. Like the corn thing that we do saying every time every video I have I, I say sorry about the glare but hey ho we're we'll going we'll customize this because all we're gonna be looking at is deselect all all I'm gonna be looking at run through atmospheric pressure we'll select that charge pressure that's specified charge pressure so that's what we should have uh, current charge pressure you see there one for duty cycle and nearly happy maybe we look at EGR valve fire the cracked specified current exhaust gas for circulation but look at these things okay and you want to go graphs they're kind of like sometimes I like graphs I don't know why again it's hard to see Okay, so we all kind of know that atmospheric pressure should be around a thousand uh, millibar or so. One bar of atmospheric pressure, thousand millibar. All right, what I can see here is 1,020. So that looks to be okay. The signal that we're getting from that 1,020 here is okay. This is the current. Okay, so there's the current charge pressure. So we're 200, well, 180 millibar above atmospheric. Um, Right, this duty cycle of turbo EGR, we're not going to pay any attention to them for the time being. We'll just look at these these four down there, okay? Car's running. Bring up the RPM slightly a bit. I should see an increase. Ooh. I should see an increase in my boost pressure. Engine was turning, so I wouldn't find it abnormal to see that number. With turbo, I would get a slight increase at idle in boost pressure. But when I rev it, look, I, I'm getting a drop. Atmospheric pressure is staying at the thousand millibar. Specified boost pressure was at idle was a thousand and ninety one. When I revved it, I should have got a slight increase to eleven hundred and thirty, but I haven't. I was actually at twelve hundred, and I dropped when I revved it. No. I got kind of just above three grand there. is what we should be getting, 12.50. We're actually, 12.14 is our live number now, so we're increasing. We had a drop there, which is, is sorry. So again, we're back to idle. I'm gonna bring it up to 2,000 RPM again. Yeah, it's a definite. Getting an increase there at this point in time, okay. Hanging at about 1200 millibar at idle. I'm just gonna go and have a look underneath the bonnet, okay? Okay, out underneath the bonnet, just doing a little visual check. Had a look around there. Map sensor is sitting in there, the manifold absolute pressure, or the boost pressure sensor, um, on the air intake pipe. There's two bolts that we're holding in. I have just taken them out. But it nearly doesn't constitute a video, this, because it's quite, simple i suppose what i'm seeing anyway so far here is our if you can see it there atmospheric pressure millibar 1020 current charge air pressure 
1,224, okay? So what we have in the atmosphere right now is one bar of pressure. One bar of pressure, which is 1,000 millibar. Over here, we have in what the car is seeing is 200 millibar of boost pressure, even though the car is turned off. There is a car running in the background. It's not this one. Clear. Um, so quite fast and quite easy, I'm going to say that that map center is gone, shot. What I have got is I have got a map center and we're just going to try it here. It is a cheap and cheerful center. Boy, there's one they had in stock. So, sorry, I'm trying to open it here. With one hand, okay, so it's not a main dealer or any thing center. It's just a cheap and cheerful. I'm gonna try and see if we can get, we'll get off this here. I probably didn't even need to take it out, but I'm gonna disconnect this thing. Okay, that's that map center, which has gone off. As I said there, it's in the intercooler pipe, and there's the, if you can see the part number, blah, 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 fart. That's coming out. Getting the new one. I'm gonna plug that in. One minute. I'm gonna hear the click. There we go, okay. In there. Okay, so she is now in situ, different one. Oh, now I thought maybe I'd have to get in. That's my light. I thought I'd have to get in and do a bit of clearing on faults and stuff like that, but sure, straight away you can see it. Live data is run, running, that's ticking. You can see it moving across the screen. But it has quite fast gone from 1000. 2,000, okay, right, sorry. I was looking at my numbers wrong here. Wow. Look at how bad. I actually thought, I thought that was out of jumping down the way to 1,000 millibar, but look at my, um, look at my pressures here. Okay. Wow. That's the cheap and cheerful sensor. Okay, guys, now, what do they say? I think Diagnose Dan has a, a video out there about cheap parts versus expensive parts. Ooh. Hate to be no names mentioned um, of the sensor, but anyway, look, there we go, crackers. Oh, hang on now. Now this is where I could be getting myself wrong. So how the how the strange go crackers? That could be the default number. I'm gonna go to here. Sorry, I could be leading everyone astray and I could be, I could be making a clown of myself here. Well, start for one minute. I'm just gonna see. Right, we've a heap of codes here. I'm gonna go back, the clear codes. That could have went into default because we disconnected it. Okay, okay. Let's have a little look again. Okay. Happy with that? Well, I wasn't after that, so relatively. Come on, happy. Could we blame these guys totally in the round, but heck yeah. That's, the gloves don't work very good on the screen sometimes. Okay, nice. I'm blaming uh, deselect all. I'm going to select atmospheric pressure. And I'm going to current. Charge air pressure. I'm gonna go for graph view. Okay, now I'm kind of happy enough with that. So I nearly, ooh, nearly got caught there myself, but I'm gonna throw it up live. That's life. 1020 millibar. Atmospheric pressure. Current charge air pressure. 1040. I'm gonna bring our scan tool in with us. Have a little look at what it. I, I, if I'm going to start it and I'm going to look at my live um, numbers, I'm going to have to have 
a screw somewhat holding in this map sensor so it doesn't blow out. But anyway, it just goes to show. You now I nearly got trickerooed on that. I kind of jumped to a conclusion. I thought it was after going straight away, but back to where it should be. But she went into default. It clicked, it triggered a fault code, and that fault code actually put it into default. Put it into default. All over the place. Sorry, kind of rough after today. Um, and give us the 2200 or 2100 millibar of atmospheric pressure, which is just a default number, okay? Oh gosh, this thing, we're um, cycling the key, and when you cycle the key on these, they do this stuff. Man, don't want that. Fingers again. Thanks. Okay, right, we're running now. That's a drop of, of 10 millibar. I'm not too bothered about it. I can see an increase in pressure. If you look at our codes, our codes are the correlation between charge air and atmospheric pressure. So right now, that's in. I'm classing this as a fix. Give it a road, test on the road and just see um, it never at any stage said it had any issues with the boost pressure itself. So correlation between cam, sorry, between atmospheric pressure and current charge air pressure, fall codes. Hopefully resolved, job done, and OXO. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe again if this is any good to you and hopefully i'll put up more point and people in kind of fast fixes direction not going to be the best of them all there's a whole lot better than me out there um just i'm enjoying doing an odd video and getting comments and talking to lads about stuff okay so please like and subscribe if it's any good to you thanks talk soon